always say that what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. So if you destroy the air conditioner of the air, it's going to have impact in all the planet. And you can see the temperature is really rising, the ice is melting, and you know the impact of climate change there are very visible. In Greenpeace, we had the Arctic campaign as a priority and we decided we had to do something like make pressure to the countries that were stopping the Arctic to be protected. So we had this meeting and we thought that music is an universal language. It was also about creating an image that talks by itself and says in your mind. So we thought that it would be amazing to see the black piano in this landscape. And we start looking for a pianist <laughs> and for a piano. Welcome. Welcome. I was invited here in the Svalbard Islands to perform on a piece of ice with my piano, uh, a piece that I composed that is called Elegy for the Arctic. If you have a piano and you move it from one street to the other, you should have someone that tune it. But we didn't have anyone to do this, so we didn't know how this piano was going to sound like. But at the moment he started testing it, it was a really magic moment. And in the silence of the Arctic, you could like start hearing a music and he got so much into the moment that it was not a normal test. He gave us like a concert. I've seen people that have been sailing for 20 years and they've told me this is the most incredible moment I've lived in a ship. And because it was something very magical, we wanted to share this with the people. You can feel the pureness and the fragility of uh, this area. Uh, there is a danger now because uh, as the ice is melting, uh, the industries exploit uh, the territory and we should uh, stop this uh, process. That was like the best concert anyone that was there could ever have. Apart from the cold, there was this huge block of ice that went down and the wave it caused it was like really big. So we had to put the piano and Ludovico safe in the rib. And then when it passed, we were all surrounded by ice. So what we had to do is to get close to the ship and Ludovico had to climb a little bit because there was no way we could move anymore. The Arctic is not a desert, but it's an area full of life, very important for the ecosystem. And uh, what happens here in the Arctic is related to uh, the rest of the world. We should save this area.